Okay, there we go. Jeez Louise. Alright. I should be live now. There we go. Hello! How, how are you people doing? <laughs> oh, jeez. It says live in four minutes. Well, what is it doing? Why is it li being a big liar butt face? You hear sound? Yeah? Are we- am I live or am I not? I'm so confused. I'm scared. <laughs> uh... Hello. Okay. I think we're good. I think I'm live. <laughs> Hello, people. Uh, I'm doing good, Michael Morris. How are you? Uh, oop. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, there we go. All the peeps are showing up. <laughs> YouTube is a butt, that's why. I agree, Corla. <laughs> uh, Jeez Louise. Um, but yeah, to, uh, to uh, talk about what you were saying earlier, Walter. Uh, yeah, the models that you see in the thumbnail are all from the original game. I got them from uh, the uh, the model resource, and I just put them in Blender because they come with like the rigs that they use to animate. And I just I just posted them for the thumbnail because I thought it'd be fun, so I I did that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, fun fact: Robot Patrick's rig is very weird. <laughs> He is not rigged like a normal person, and it's really weird. Like, you know how most characters are rigged in like a T-pose type of thing? Well, he's not. He's posed as if like he's about to take a really big poop. So... <laughs> uh... In fact, I wonder if I- do I even still have them? I don't think I still have them on my computer. So I got, like, got rid of them after... Oh, wait, no, I do. Okay. Hang on. Let's go on an adventure, guys. Let's go on a... Let's go on a brief detour. Would I play remastered Sly Cooper games? Uh, I don't know, probably. I'd much prefer a new one. <laughs> that'd be, that'd be, that'd be fantastic. Doop. Uh, it's curling in on itself. Yeah, it just does that. I have no idea why. Okay, let me see. Import that. Do, do, do. Hang on. Going, going on a, going on a brief detour, ladies and gents. Uh, uh, let it go. Spang boob. Uh. There we go, Spang Boob himself. There we go. Alright. Do that. And then go back in here. Uh, do that. Go back. No, not Plankton. Uh, Patrick. There we go. Oh, he's ginormous. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, let me. Scale him way, way down. Uh, if I can... There we go. Okay. So, let me... Do something really quick. Uh, do that, do that, and do that. Okay. So, let me switch over... To this. Here we go. So, uh, here's what, uh... What a, uh, what, what a, what a model usually looks like when it rigs. You, you summon this, like, default T-posing thing, right? Uh, you're welcome, Otto. Welcome to my stream. <laughs> uh, you do that. 
and it's like really nice looking and stuff, and it's pretty neat, right? Um, here's how to try to do uh, Robot Patrick for some reason. This is his default pose. For some reason. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why he's posed like this by default, but he is. That's, that's how animation works. <laughs> uh, he pose. <laughs> so yeah, that's weird. I don't know why they set him up like that. Uh, it's the sponge to the bob. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, there we go. There's a little behind the scenes action, I guess you could call it, of how I did the thumbnails. That's 2.7. Yeah, I use an, an old version of Blender at the moment. I know there's a fancy new one, but I haven't fully learned the fancy new one yet, so I'm still using the old one for the time being. <laughs> it's Robot Patrick's taunting pose. Yeah. I don't see the point of starting it like that. Me neither. I don't even think he does that pose, like, in the actual game at all. Which is extra weird. So... At 2003 animation flush. <laughs> have I tried Blender 2.8? I have, for a little bit. I still need to learn it. But I do, I do want to use it, because it, it, like, looks fancy and clean, and I like it. But I need to learn how to use it first. <laughs> it's unused. Okay, that's why. Okay. Has anyone beaten the game with only three pairs of underwear? I haven't. That seems like a neat little challenge, though. <laughs> Alright, so, are we ready to, uh... To live in a pineapple under the sea? Because I know I am. Let's go over here. Uh, spang boob? There you go, there's spang boob. Alright. Let me move my window over here, and then I'll pop out the chat, size it, and move it over here. Okay, nope, still can't see it quite right. Or can I? I don't know, I'm trying to... The life of a streamer. <laughs> Alright. Okay, there we go, that's good. Alright. Let's head on back in here. Yeah, we're playing on the PC version. Boop a doop. Alright, so back in we go. Back in for exciting adventures. Okay, so first things first, I'd like to address the elephant in the room. Uh, we have a jump in uh, both golden spatulas and shiny objects. So, off screen, because I doubt anyone wanted to see me do this, I went and just got Mr. Krabs' Golden Spatula off screen, so you wouldn't have to see me grind for a bunch of tiny objects to get these spatulas. So I went ahead and got these all off screen, and I'm glad I did, because for some reason, they somehow made Mr. Krabs' Golden Spatulas even worse than they are in the original. <laughs> in the original, I think the highest it went up to was like 7,500. Now the most expensive one is 24,000. That's a bit of a leap, don't you think? So, uh, so yeah, I don't know why that's a thing or why they thought, you know what? Let's make this even more tedious. People will love that. Like, eh. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know why they, they thought that was a good idea, but uh, someone out there did. I guess someone really loves, uh, grinding for tiny objects. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I just went ahead and got all those off screen. And I also went and got enough shiny objects to unlock the movie theater in the third hub, which we'll be checking out towards the end of the stream. Um, so yeah, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and descend mountain first, because I usually do 
this one for it, whenever I play it. So yeah. Sand Mountain, where sea creatures go to enjoy an afternoon of falling down. Of falling down. <laughs> and here we are. Squidward, am I glad you're here. I need to borrow your toothbrush again. What? You've used it before? Oh yeah, lots of times. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. <laughs> Fine. What do I care? I'm a wreck anyways. I try and get some exercise to relax from all this robotness, and now everything is ruined. Because of a toothbrush? No, it's those blasted robots. They've taken over the ski slopes. How can I ski with those ugly things beating everyone up? Listen, SpongeBob, you've got to help me. I'm going to lose my marbles if I don't get some relaxation. I've found if you keep your marbles in a bag, they don't get lost as often. In fact, I've got mine right here. It's embroidered with this lovely... Forget the marbles! <laughs> I've got a better idea. If you get rid of the robots at the bottom of every slope for me, I'll give you one of those golden spatulas. Well, I don't know. It's hard to beat the extreme fun of marbles. Okay, okay, I'll give you one for each slope you clear. Now that's a deal! Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think this level has like my favorite, like, dialogue exchanges in the game. Like, okay. Between SpongeBob and Squidward, where am I? Did I go through the wall? Oh my god. Oh, oh, okay. 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 <laughs> We're gonna just pretend that didn't happen, guys. We're just gonna pretend that we didn't see anything there. <laughs> oh. Uh, anyway. Um. What I was saying before. <laughs> uh. The dialogue between SpongeBob and Squidward in this level is probably my favorite in the game. They're super funny. Especially at the end of the level, the cutaway where Patrick is like, in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> hey Gary, what's oh, up? You don't say. Well, there must be a way up there. Yeah, I wonder how, guys. I'm such a noob at this game, I've never played it before in my life, so I have I have no idea how to get up there. What do I do, guys? I don't know. Uh tell me in the chat what I should do. Get up to uh, there we go. How do I do this, guys? I'm such a noob at this game. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't. I don't know how. I don't know how how to spang boob. How do I spang boob the video game? I have no idea what to do. How do I how do I play the video games? I have no idea what the heck I'm supposed to do. Eh. Golly. Yeah, it is cool how they're a lot more expressive in this game, with the, with the talking animations. That's pretty neat. Uh, this girl, you make the video on the Wii channel, it's being discontinued. i me now, and, my, uh, and me and my friend, I watched that nostalgic video. Happy to see you still strong. Thanks, dude! That's like one of the favorites I worked on. It's the start of the, uh, the evil Wii storyline that I did, like, years ago. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was a, that was a fun video, that was like the first one. Hello, my most oh, favorite friend in the whole world. I found another I golden we spatula friends. for you. I thought you were my non-friend, Plankton. Oh, boy! Can I have it? Sure, if you fall down to the bottom of this pit. Something is wrong with the audio? Isn't there a safer way? It's always safety with you people. Hang on, let me see. Uh, it should be fine. Is it like too loud or the mic is a bit quiet? Okay, let me let me turn myself up here and do that. Let me turn. I'll leave the game audio as is. Uh, turn it up. I'll turn it up all the way. How's that? Uh, yeah, I'll spend money on bungees that barely work in this game. Hey. <laughs> Oh, there we go. <laughs> Didn't even have to try there. Uh. Uh. Dude. Keep up the good oh. work, buddy of mine, and don't forget to help me out with the chump bucket. Sure thing. I don't know why you made me talk to you a second time. Boop -a -doop -boop -boop. 
Maybe if it helps by bringing the mic a little closer like that. There we go. Sounds better. Sweet. All right. Hmm. Oh, and then that guy just he just he just up and died. Like. Oh, uh, all right. So we're doing this one first. We're doing these a little out of order. Uh, but I always do this one first because this one has the worst sock ever. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I fly like the wind and float like a sea bee. If you can beat my time down the hill, I'll give you a golden spatula. Sure thing, dude. Sweetness. All right, so we do that. And then we open this box. It's always safety with you people. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, it's messing with my head, man. I'm not using I'm not used to Sand Mountain looking like this. <laughs> ah jeez, it like it looks kind of the same, but also it's like different enough to be like, where am I? <laughs> Alright, see ya Corla. Have a have a good day. Thanks for stopping by for a little bit. And then get you. Why did that slow me down? That's that's not fun. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, it does look better. Like holy cow. And then like the fog effects. Yeah. <laughs> Fresh, like a spring breeze. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, okay. I was, I was confused for a second. I didn't know where I was. You just met the oh dear. Oh jeez, am I gonna make it? Oh jeez. How close am I to the end? I don't even think I'm close. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Uh oh. Number one in the Ouch. Hunt. Oh dear. Well, I have to redo this anyway, so. Oh man. I lose. I gotta try again. <laughs> I'm using a controller. I I can't use modern day keyboard controls. Uh. You pushing a single button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Ow. Yeah, he does talk a bit more in this game. Maybe a bit too much, admittedly. Uh. I got it. All right, now I gotta go back. Here. Alright, take two. Here we go. Here we go. This one's this is the one, guys. This is the one for all the marbles. Let's go. We <laughs> nice stutter slow turn towards SpongeBob. Ow! Okay, maybe SpongeBob could do a little less of getting stuck on things. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Maybe that's why I didn't make it, because he does stuff like that a lot on this version. Uh, found another way to get out. Airtime. I'll, I'll, I'll read that in a second. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't the best level to start with, because it requires a lot of focus and concentration. I really don't want to die here. I don't. I don't want to find out. If it still does that thing where if you die, you have to do all the snowman stuff all over again. Oh my! What? Okay. Jeez. Mm. Alright, come on, Spang Boob. You got this. Mm. 
Oh, do the checkpoints not activate during the races? If they fix that? That'd be great. That, that was always super annoying in the original, where, like, you do a race, and then you get a checkpoint, and then you die during the race, and the counter's still counting down, but instead of sending you back to the beginning, it, like... Or no, the counter doesn't keep counting down. It stops counting down, because you lost the race. But then instead of taking you back to the beginning, it takes you back to the checkpoint. So that you can't do it again. Uh... Isn't that fun? And I lost again. Okay, nope, nope. Stop, no! Ah. The snowman don't save. Ready for another fantastic day. Well, it says it did. Wait, I got it? It says I did. Okay. Well, I guess now that, now that I did that, I'll read this really quick. Uh, I found another way to get more airtime from the spin attack. You got to do it in specific order. Jump, spin, double jump, spin. Yeah, that was something, uh, I was watching, like, speedrun videos of this game. And, like, now it's, like, a thing where it's, like, in the original you could only do the spin attack once in the year. And then, and then it will keep your momentum, but in this one you can do it twice. Which is interesting. <laughs> I managed to fix the rainbow glitch using the Jimmy Neutron PC game. And then you go into properties, compatibility, and mode and compatibility for... Check the box. I mean, I think I fixed that a while ago. Uh, nope, snowman don't save. Blah, blah, blah. Time challenge in this game is more fun than the movie game. It's repetitive. Did, did, like, for real, did, did anyone like the time challenges and ring challenges in the movie game? Like, be honest, does anyone like those? For real. Does anyone, like in any game, really, does anyone, like, seriously think, Oh man, dude, I could really go for some ring challenges right now. Oh man. <laughs> They're the highlight of any video game I play. Superman 64 was my jam. What? <laughs> uh. Uh. Eh. Golly. It says I got all of them, so maybe, like, it's saved because I got all of them already? Maybe it doesn't happen if you don't get all of them before you die. Alright. Let's go, guys. This is the one. This is the one for all the marbles. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones, dude. I can do this. Look at that. 45 seconds. Already, already made it here. Oh man, we got this, guys. This is the one. This is the one, guys. Eh. Here we go. I'm holding forward on that analog stick. Nothing's gonna stop me now. Here we go. We got this. 25 seconds. 22 seconds. 20. Oh, oh, we might got this, guys. We might. This might be the one. Get this sock while we're up here. Yeah. Got it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Did you patch your stream was going to have ice cream in it? Yeah, I did. Oh. Jeez. That was so close. Uh, darn it. Okay, this is the one, guys. I got this, alright? I got a good feeling. Hey, There's marbles in my bones! That's where his marbles went! <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. We got this. Eh. Uh, I really don't remember Bubble Buggy's race challenge being this hard. I... <laughs> Alright, come on. Come on, Spawn Bob. You can do it. I know, it's like literally a sec. Did the way, excuse me. Oh, goodness gracious me. Ow. You know, in order to make it, SpongeBob needs to do way, way less of that. Like stopping in place whenever he literally hits anything. Yeah. 
which I guess is still better than in the original where you hit anything and he just goes ravining off of a cliff. But, uh-oh! Uh-oh! Oh, <laughs> did you see those skills? Uh. Alright, come on. I can make it. Oh, jeez. This is about the same time I got here the last time. Oh, dear. I don't know, guys. Oh, jeez. Eh. Eh. Come on. It's gonna cut it close, guys. It's gonna cut it real close. Eh. Oh, 19 seconds. Let's go. Alright, let's go in here. I don't care. Eh. Oh, come on. Just get in there. Come on, three. Okay. Oh, my goodness. All right. There we go. Jeez Louise. Eh. All right. In here. Inside. Thank you. With that, that high-budget uh, box Bob, animation. You beat my best time. Here's a spatula. Why, thank you, Bubble Buddy. <laughs> All right, we got that one. Cool. All right, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I thought he was gonna do the same thing he did last time, where he just goes for beating off the cliff. All right, I'm gonna switch to Sandy. Oh yeah, get away from me. Uh, they redone the soundtrack. I love the soundtrack. Don't get me wrong. I would like the music to sound more exciting than its original counterpart. Ah, no, I think the music uh, still held holds up pretty well even to this day. It'd be cool if they remade it, but I mean, I don't think it's necessary. Hey, Sandy! Eh. Eh. Uh, all right, so we're gonna do we're gonna do this first before the Larry time challenge. Get the bed out of the way. Alright, what am I looking for? Here we go, this is what I'm looking for. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, all right, take two. Uh, there is a slight difference in the music. They did remaster it a little bit, but not by much. They use, like, uh, stereo remasters of the tracks that I believe is from the uh, Truth of Square. And then they added, like, a little bit of extra instrumental to it. But aside from that, they, they didn't really change it all that much. It's, it's mostly the same songs. Mm. There we go. Okay. Oh, and they didn't make these ice blocks. Thank goodness. <laughs> That made this, like, more, more, more annoying than it really needed to be. <laughs> eh. Alright, cool, there we go. Yes, it's required by law. Eh, hold B, not press, yeah. I think they did change that from the original. I think in the original you did just press it and he, he just grabbed it. Oh, poop. Oh, poop. I can't do that. Uh. Uh, well, bye, Sandy. <laughs> nope, never mind. Okay, uh. Uh. Here, over here. Eh. Oh, really? It was. Jeez. Well, uh. I hope that's not a sign that this game isn't doing very well. Uh. 
the fastest there is. My time down this slope is unbeatable. I'll give uh -huh. you a golden spatula if you can beat my time. I mean, I don't know, man. I mean, I've beaten it quite a few times in the original, so I guess it's not that unbeatable. I, uh... Oh, gosh. <laughs> they made a bounce animation for the, the tongue, and it looks really disgusting. <laughs> Uh... Alright, here we go. Over here. Alright. we. Those poor guys. Oh my gosh, I thought I was gonna run right into it for a second. <laughs> we. <laughs> if I don't carry Patrick's socks, I'm going to prison? Jeez. Oh, well, I mean, I guess I better get all the ones I can then. I got sent to rock bottom. No, man, that's later. Spoilers. Like, eh. <laughs> Uh, okay. that, this might, this might be a longer way, I probably should not have done this, but, uh, uh. Ow. Alright, I bet this is the par where it's like, where I get really uncertain <laughs> if I'm gonna make it or not. Eh. So there's all these branching paths that split everywhere. Oh yeah! That was, that was cool. Oh, okay, okay, I think we might make it. I think this might be it. Yep, here we go. Get it! Man, Larry, your time challenge is so unbeatable. How on earth was I able to do that on the first try? <laughs> uh, Kelp Cave is actually playable. Uh, how did they do that? Did they add more bus stops? Cause that's the one improvement that I could think of it. Kelp Caves wouldn't really be so bad. It's just that you have to run back and forth so many- Ow! Jeez! <laughs> Poor, jeez, that boulder just completely killed the cameraman. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah. So the kelp cave puzzle really isn't that bad. The puzzle itself is fine. SpongeBob, you beat my best time. You beat my best time. <laughs> the kelp cave puzzle itself is not so bad. It's just the fact that you have to run back and forth to the bus stop so many times. No, you just actually see. Oh, okay. Well, I don't see that as much of an improvement then. Hey. Uh. Got it. Well, I mean, that's kind of impossible, seeing as how the final golden spatula is in the final boss. So, uh, I don't know how one is supposed to do that. Uh. How, am I how are they going to make a Baby Shark TV show? They're making a Baby Shark TV show? What am I saying? Of course they're making a Baby Shark TV show. They'll make a, a, sh a TV show about anything. Brits, the TV show. Darn kids these you days. The <laughs> you bit my pistol. <laughs> yeah, I'll do your time challenge. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, that is a funny voice line. Uh, I'm glad you agree. Uh, uh, alright, there we go. Alright, off we go. Oh, I guess they decided to opt to uh, not play the Downtown Bikini Bottom theme for like the first, like, 20 seconds of this challenge. Eh, eh. Which I guess makes sense, because it is it was kind of weird how they would do that, and then like midway through, be like, Oh, a, a slide! Slide music! Ah! Okay, thank you. Oh, gotta go down here. Grab you. Doobie-poo! Oh, 
Oh dear. Okay. And I'm gonna go here. Oh, okay, they just made that one slide. Okay, cool. Again, that was another somewhat weird thing in the original. Cool. That. Oh, no speed run strats there. Mm -mm. Eh. Patrick would love rocks the TV show. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, he would. Although, I mean, is it really that hard to impress Patrick? Like, he'd, he'd like a TV show about anything, really. Like, uh. <laughs> that guy got in the head with two coconuts. <laughs> uh, I'm here. All right, there you are, Mrs. Puff. Congratulations! You pass with flying colors. Yay! They don't play. Oh yeah, they didn't play the mini boss music on any of the slopes, did they? Golly. Yeah, huh? That's weird. Mrs. Puff still likes look, looks like a half peeled potato. <laughs> that everything? All right, we did it. Golly, that felt like it went by really fast. Jeez. All right, we did it, guys. Now let's see this amazing dialogue sequence. My favorite in the game. Here we go. I think that Patrick borrowed your equipment. What? Who said he could do that? I did. I figured if he didn't know, you wouldn't mind. Again. <laughs> wouldn't mind? Of course I mind! It's only the most expensive skiing equipment you can buy! And what does Patrick want with that stuff anyway? He doesn't even know how to ski. I want the warm now! Ah, <laughs> uh, best... Best cutaway gag in the game. <laughs> It's custom stranded in the middle of nowhere. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, jeez, that went by really fast, it felt like. Let me see. How long have we been going? Like, 37 minutes. Jeez. So, when, when did we start? Like, the intro was probably, like, well, like, 7 minutes, probably. So, like, 30 minutes. Jeez. Uh, am I gonna do all my thoughts on LEGO SpongeBob? Probably someday. I do want to do a My Thoughts video of, like, all of the old, like, movie stuff that I did back in the day. DVD. Alright, so, uh, what, which ones do you, uh, what you guys want to do now? We got the Mermelayer, and we got, uh, Rock Bottom. Which ones should we do, which one should we do next, guys? I'll, I'll, I'll leave it up to you. Want to do Rock Bottom or the Mermelayer? We still don't know why Patrick needed skiing equipment. I don't think we'll ever know. Legend has it, he's still on that mountain needing skiing equipment to this day. Uh, how come I haven't done a Spider-Man PS4 walkthrough? Because I just haven't yet, but I kind of want to. <laughs> Alright, I got one vote from Mumalair. Boop. Oh my gosh, that was weird. <laughs> Uh, Mermelair, Rock Bottom, Bottom of the Rocks, Rock Bottom. A Rock Bottom, lots of Rock Bottom, I'm seeing. <laughs> rock Bottom, is that the final decision? We got like two, or no, three Mermelair choices. And like four Rock Bottoms. At the Rock Bottom. Alright, Rock Bottom it is, here we go. Boop, 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 boop. Let's go, rock bottom. <laughs> to the Mermelair, away! Nope, not quite. Welcome to the dark depths of rock bottom, home of strange creatures and, and souvenir t-shirts. <laughs> Didn't like Spider-Man PS4, why come? Oh, these guys. <laughs> I'm surprised they kept in the part where he actually pees. 
<laughs> Something you got this. Oh, SpongeBob, I'm actually glad you're here. Believe it or not. I'm glad I'm here too, Mrs. Puff. The robots have stolen priceless artwork from the museum. If you can return it all to me, I'll reward you with a golden spatula. Why do you want all that artwork? Don't ask questions you aren't prepared to handle the answer to. <laughs> Consider the artwork saved, Mrs. Puff. Am I doing a walkthrough of Spider-Man on PS4? I mean, not this very second, but I'd like to. Does this still work? Yep. Yeah. And off he goes. <laughs> oh, jeez. That was great. That's a, that was a neat little animation there. We got some nice squash and stretch going on. Off it goes. <laughs> that, that's really nice. I like how they did it in this one. Jimmy Neutron movie game on PS4. Uh, I don't know. I don't think... I, 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 don't, I think we can live without bringing that one back. I mean, oh my gosh. Jeez Louise, is it just me or is like his like little light radius time thing a like a billion sea times sea. bigger than it is in the original? Holy cow. Alright, well, see ya. Jeez. Uh, uh, this is tough as an artwork. Gee, I never knew. <laughs> I'm gonna grab you. Grab all these. Grab my law. Must... Hey guys, I got, a, I got a game theory for you guys. So I was like really looking at like these like side character NPC guys that you just see walking around and like you don't talk to them or anything. They're just kind of there just to like fill space to make it feel more alive and stuff. And they look suspiciously close to how they look in the original. Like almost one to one in the two, like the original. And my, my game theory, if you will, uh, is that they're just the same models from the original game. But they gave them slightly prettier textures, and like that's it. That's I'm I'm thinking that's what happened because it does, it does. They don't look any different than they do in the original, aside from like prettier textures. I think they're just straight up the same models. Now, let me see if this works. Oh my god! I can still do that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Rock Bottom's museum, but they've broken the roadway leading up there. You'll have to be clever and find another route to get in. What if I lick all these stamps and mail them? <laughs> Could work, but perhaps being sneaky would be faster. Probably. I love all these like little touches that they put in like the cutscenes. Like, oh yeah, well what's this? And he holds up like his actual license slash uh uh library card. What if I just take these stamps and mail them myself? And he's actually holding the stamps. It's awesome. <laughs> uh, am I talking about the models in the museum? I'm talking about like just the models, like for all like the side characters. I think they're just straight up just the ones from the original game, but like slightly prettier looking textures. You just met the Spongeinator. Doop -a doop. Alright, we got this challenge we gotta do. Doop. Doop -doop. Oh, hey, by the way, uh, so for those of you who tuned in to the, la to the previous stream, we were trying to figure out what button makes you tiptoe, because you can tiptoe by just tilting the stick slightly a little bit, but you can also press a button to get the tiptoe working, because like on, on keyboard and mouse, you kind of can't do that, because there's no analog stick. Uh, on the keyboard, it's the left shift button to tiptoe, and on the controller, it's the left trigger to tiptoe. So I'm just holding down the left trigger right now while moving, and it does that. So, uh, yeah. There you go. Uh, that, that's pretty neat, if I do say so myself. Keep it, like right here. Oh, jeez. Oh, he looks, he looks nice. Hey. Nope, wrong. You will see in the museum. Oh. All right. I guess we'll, I guess we'll see about that. I have no idea what you're alluding to, but I'm not specifically talking about these guys. 
that you see, like, walking around. Like the... I'll point, I'll point it out, like, in another level. When we get to it. Oop. Oh, poop. Yeah. Like a spring breeze. Ooh, squeeze and walk. Kablooey. Boop. I feel like a new sponge. That was weird. Like this lady. You know this lady who had the cut animation with the, uh, where she, like, like did, did things with her, uh, uh, chest, chestral region? Uh, I'll leave it at that. Um, yeah, I, it looks exactly like the exact same model. But, like, just with different textures. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, I thought I was about to go boom for a second. But luckily, I did not go boom. Have you ever wondered why it's called rock? Why does the music keep resetting every time I press a button? That's weird. <laughs> eh. The winking lady, yep. Okay, is it do it is it gonna do it here? Yeah, that's so why is it doing that? What is this? Revenge of the Flying Dutchman? <laughs> uh Phineas and Ferb movie revealed. Uh it's either that that already exists, man. It's called uh what was it? Something the tenth dimension? Across the across the tenth dimension, something like that. It's something something dimension. <laughs> uh, but that movie was good, from what I remember. It was really good. I really think that should have been in theaters. If I'm being honest, it was that good. What's my favorite Toontown boss? Hmm. Let me think. It's quite a few. Oh jeez. See what happens here. Oh, dude, see there? That's what I was saying before. The sharp controls makes that way easier. I could not do this section in the original once in the uh, before. Because the controls are just so loosey-goosey and floaty. I could not do that section once in the original. With that one, that was like no problem. So, yeah. But anyway, favorite Toontown boss. Um, I, I want to say the VP, but I feel like that's like an easy answer. Because that's like a super nostalgic boss for a lot of people. Um, it's not the Chief Justice. The Chief Justice takes way too long. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, that's how you destroy this. Okay. All my years playing that in, playing this game, and I never knew how you destroyed that cannon until now. <laughs> uh. You know what? Maybe maybe the CEO. The CEO is pretty fun. It has a nice set of challenges that you do, and then get a nice little thing at the end when you squirt them and stuff. It's pretty, pretty, pretty neat, boss. Can't can this against the universe, and it's coming. Oh, really? Okay. Wait, I thought that I thought the series ended like a million years ago, but all right. Eh. Mm. Eh. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm playing about Kitty Bottom Rehydrated, duh. Eh. Oh, I forgot to get this stuff down here. Jeez. All right. Uh oh, darn it! I gotta get this down here first. Gotta go over here. Uh uh oh. This is uh oh. Hang on, my HD remaster's messing with my memory, guys. There's a thing there that wasn't there before, and it's messing with my head. Uh. Okay. Uh. Do I just do this? Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Okay, there's a new way I gotta do this now, apparently. Hey, the Gaming Reaper, welcome to the stream. Okay. Uh, 
could. Uh oh. No, I should have said that I'm eating chocolate. Okay. I don't get the joke, but I'm eating chocolate. Oh! Oh, wait. Oh, again, you're doing the SpongeBob thing. Chocolate! Eh. I, I assume. I assume that's the joke. Eh. Okay. Okay, so I guess we gotta do it this way now. Uh, he does not have a proper death scene. All he does, he just leaves. Well, that too, I guess. But also, he, he just takes forever. You spend like a million years just throwing pieces of paper inside a pan. And you just do that for like a million years until the game tells you to stop. It's like... It's, it take, it's, it's like so long and there's like nothing that like... There's barely any challenge to it. Nothing really changes. You just do the same thing for what feels like an hour. And it's, it's really, like, annoying. Uh, 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 how are you enjoying the remaster so far? I, I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's more about kitty bottom goodness. You can't go wrong with that. Oh, jeez. We. Alright. Off to the museum we go! Whoop. Ouch! Okay, that one was my fault, to be fair. Eh. Wait! Eh, take that, you butt! Eh! Uh, do I want to switch back to Spongebob? Uh, you know what, I probably should, just to hear the dialogue. Yeah, take that, invisible enemy Spongebob is talking to. <laughs> Boy. Are you on patrol down here? No, this is my second job. I, I work security. Now listen, if you want to reach the golden spatula, you need to shut off the museum's security system. Yeah. Sounds like a plan, man. You have to iron those pants or are they wrinkle free? I'm like, pay attention, kid. This is serious stuff. Now, if we don't get this Hold up, wait, was that another dialogue? Wait! So shut down and I'll have to move back in with my son and his wife wait, and wait. his four screaming kids. Wait, now, wait, you see that no, on the other side of the stop, machine? stop talking, stop talking, wait, wait a minute, uh, exit, wait, 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 guys, this is very important, there was a dialogue that I didn't think was there before, play... Eh. It's very important. Okay, moving over there. No, don't full screen! Okay. Okay. We're good on OBS? Okay, cool. Okay, back in here. Oh, darn it! Okay. This is my second job. I, I... You have to iron those pants or are they wrinkle free? Unlike you. What? What? <laughs> okay. Um. I think I somewhat understand why they cut it from the original. Because that's a that's kind of a mean thing for SpongeBob to say. <laughs> um That was interesting. Kid, kid, this is serious stuff. Now, if we don't get this robot thing resolved, I'm like you. Sure down, and I'll have to move back in with my son and his wife and his four screaming kids. Now, 
You see that vent on the other side of the museum? Yes, sir. That's where you exit the museum. Good luck, kid. Thank I won't let you down, Barnacle Boy. That was in the original? I don't remember that at all. I don't remember that line. What's ouch? Ouch, 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 stop. Stop it! SpongeBob! Stop it! Stop it! Okay. Uh sorry I have to leave. Uh I'll hope we'll be back for the fight. See you later. Alright, Walter, thanks for stopping by. Doop a doop a doop. Yeah, that is a new one. Like I thought so. So I have like no memory of that whatsoever. Uh be 60 or so years old. So I never realized he had children, let alone grandchildren. <laughs> Alright, let's jump down here. Ow! It was in the original, just in a subtle form. Really, hmm. Yeah, I don't remember that line appearing at all. Unless I just skipped it. Ow, dear. Eh. Oh, and we gotta do it all over. Alright. Eh. Hmm. Alright, take two. Oh, well, at least they don't show us the cutscene every time. That's nice. Boop. Alright, here we go. Take two, guys. This is the one. This is the one for all the mar- oh, da, 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 <clears throat> This is the one for all the marbles. Here we go. <laughs> What's Squidward doing? Oh, gosh, what is that? Uh, oh, dear. Golly, yeah, that's a, that's a picture. Oh, and we got, uh, we got, we got Squidward, uh, Squidward boarding, I guess? Uh, got the, the sponge Elisa. <laughs> I'm, I'm hilarious. Ow. No, get over here. No, gosh. Stinking darn it. Ah. And we're just we're just stuck in this laser forever. <laughs> okay, take three. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Take three. This is the one. This is the one. For all the mmm. Mmm. I don't know how I feel about that third knockback. That knockback's making me a little mad. Uh. Oh gosh, lag. Okay. Did I hear about Camp Coral? Yeah, that's a that's a thing that's happening. <laughs> I don't see why it's necessary. Like taking the controversy behind that show's creation aside, um, SpongeBob doesn't really need a spinoff because it kind of focuses on all of the characters anyway. Like SpongeBob isn't like specifically about SpongeBob. It can it can be about any of the characters. Hit that button, thank you. It's like you It's like you like, I don't know, like a Squidward spin-off, which I hear is also happening, I think. Uh if I die again, I won't get marbles. Oh, okay, I guess I better be careful then. Uh, um, yeah, I don't know, just the idea of a Spongebob spin-off just doesn't really make sense to me. Time for a little sleepy sneak. Like, it sounds like it's just gonna be the same show, except they're kids now. So, it's like, what's the point? <laughs> Uh, what is my favorite episode? What's my favorite episode of Spang Boobs? I like the, the Spongebob stream one. That was always a, a fan favorite of mine. Just because it was cool. Uh, 
Boop, 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 boop. Oh, we got more weird physics thing. The physics, like tilting platform stuff, is a little weird in this game, I gotta say. This wasn't here before. It was down here originally. Ah, oh, that's weird. Why'd they move it there? Ouch. Oh, it's taking an update. Go away. Jeez. Ouch. Ay, 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 ay. Fresh like a spring breeze. Patrick's ice cream dream. Okay. So... Can we talk about how there's, like, cut content in this game that they said they were gonna bring back and then they didn't? Can, can, can we talk about that? What What's the deal with that, yo? I know it's like this game is supposedly rushed in development, but, uh, even still, uh, what, what the poop? <laughs> They're in this game, like, the they, they did start on the levels to add those things back in this game. And then, what the... What? What? Oh, is this what you were saying? About the models? Hey, dude! Hey! Oh, these are the models? Okay, that's cool. So, like, this is what I was saying, though, right here. Yeah, these guys look exactly the same as the ones that are, like, actually moving around outside. Yeah, they look, like, exactly the same. So, I'm convinced that they, they just took these guys, what that you're seeing here, and they, they're still, and they just put in, like, HD textures to make them prettier. I'm pretty sure, I'm certain, I'm, I'm, like, almost certain that's what they did, because they look exactly the same. Uh... Free them. <laughs> Hashtag free the original models. <laughs> uh, are, are there... Is there more? Did, did I, like, run past them? Because that's, like, awesome. Are there more? Or are those the only ones? There's more. Okay. Okay. There's more. And also the cut contents in the multiplayer. Yeah, but that's not that's not really the same though. It's like when I when they said that they're bringing the cut content back, I meant they're gonna bring. I thought they meant they're gonna bring it back like in its original form, which I still think was the original intention. Oh, that's nice. Hope I don't get demonetized for that. Uh, <laughs> um, which I think I'm pretty I I'm pretty certain. That that's what they were originally planning to do. Which I'll show you in a little bit. When we get to the end of this section. Um. The levels, they started on them. The cut levels in their original form are here. And they started working on them. But then they like, I guess, gave up midway through. And now they're not, and yeah. Oh, and here's the old, oh gosh! Eh, they're actually alive! Oh no! Oh gosh! Oh jeez, no, stop throwing stuff at me. Hang on. This is very important. My friends, they're they're trapped. Oh jeez, and they shrunk the old lady. She's used to be a billion times bigger. Eh. No. <laughs> My dear friends, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, then here's the, the raft guy that you bounce on. Uh, how do you know that? I'll show you uh, in a little bit after we beat this level. Or this museum section, rather. Oh, oh dear. Okay. Okay, Monsoon's making this a little hectic for me. Okay. Okay, there we go. This is so much more doable. Uh, a fun pop in this version. This was not doable before in the original. And then here's the the models for the original Kimi Bottom people. Or the houses, rather. And here they are. Here these guys are. 
Yeah, again, they look exactly the same. So, unless I'm just crazy and there's like some Time sort of difference. Oh gosh, I almost missed that. Oh, I still need Sandy anyway. Darn it. Darn it. Okay, I, I still need Sandy, guys. Hang on. Eh, eh. Okay, I opened that. Okay. Oh dear. Okay. Okay, I guess while we're doing that. Oh hang on, let me get let me get Sam first. Let me get Sam. This is what Mrs. Puff has been doing. She's been kidnapping all of the original models. And just stuffing them in her museum. <laughs> uh, I feel like a new sponge. I found the unused version of the Patrick Stream and SpongeBob Steel Pants. Yes, exactly. So if I run in here so that it'll auto save. Okay. So this game was made in Unreal Engine. Uh, and there's a tool where you can, that you can download, that you can open the debug menu for Unreal Engine and, like, access all the codes and stuff to do certain things. And using that, you can open some of the level files, if you know, like, what they're called and stuff. So if we, if I just take this, put that in there. So check this out. Uh, let's see... Patrick's Dream. Check this out, guys. You see this? Patrick's Dream. They were gonna do it. it, it it's right here. <laughs> it's not textured, but it's right here. They were gonna do it. Yeah, got, got some, I guess some, like, candy canes. None of this is textured, so I don't know what's what. Oh, hey, maybe I can make it over here now, now that I'm standing. There we go. I couldn't make it over here before, because I was Spongebob before. Yeah, so, like, here it is, and it's in its full glory. Or what would have been its full glory. It's, it's untextured, unfinished glory. There it is. There, there's no music. Yeah, there's no music, but, uh... Um, but yeah, it's right here. Can you only do that on PC? As far as I'm aware, yes. This is only doable on PC. So, so yeah, they were gonna do it, guys. But I guess for whatever reason, they just, they just decided to stop. And they didn't continue it. I don't think I'm gonna make this jump. Let's try it anyway. Okay, there we go. Very sad. And then this door here works, kinda. The animation's like weird. It shouldn't do that, but... <laughs> and then that just takes you back to Bikini Bottom. So yeah, they were gonna do it. And then if I go in here... Uh... This one's just like a test room for all the enemies, but then we got this. And we got the SpongeBot Steel Pants Muscle Arm fight. Or what would have been here, except there's even less than, less stuff in this version. <laughs> in the original one, you, you get, there, there was at least, like, some program stuff, but... <laughs> uh... I want Squidward to host Blue's Clues. Okay, I don't know where that came from. And then if I, uh, let's see, camera. Let's, let's go out of bounds. Hello, welcome to Boundary Break, where we basically take the camera anywhere we want, and we find out new uh, secrets and discoveries to some of our favorite games. Uh, there he is. Here's our buddy. Uh, <laughs> here he is. Yeah, so, uh... And it's the original model, too. They didn't, like, uh... They didn't rehydrate him. He's just... It's just the original model from the game. 
Uh, yeah, there he is, guys. And then there's a, also a random piece of debris here. I don't know what that's about, but yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know, guys. Yeah. Oh, hey, here he is, John. Hey, dude. Yeah, I was talking about that earlier, the, the tiptoe controls. There's two of them. Yeah, I don't know why there's two of them here, but there is, apparently. Maybe one has the insides of the model and the other one doesn't. No, they both have it. Okay, I don't know what the difference is then. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's really disappointing. I, I, I don't know why they did that. Let's go back to rock bottom. If I can find it. Oh, over here. Here we go. Yeah, that, I think. There. Yeah. So yeah, that's like super disappointing to me. I don't know. I don't know. I I I, I don't know. I, I I guess they were just that rushed and they just couldn't do it all. It's really disappointing. They had supposedly had like just like eleven months to do this game, which is like, geez, Louise, dude. You can find Patrick hidden out of, out of bounds. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you think you know why there's two of them? Oh, please explain. Alright, so now we're gonna go over here. I only got Sandy so I can get the socks and artwork. I think you kind of have to do that. To... Get in here. Thank you. Ten months of development. Oh, jeez. When, when will publishers learn that, like, if you rush a game, it's gonna, like, not be as good? Like, eh. Just let, let developers take their time. <laughs> Who do I think is the most annoying robot? Okay, in this game, I'm gonna say it. I don't like how what they do with the Tartar robot in this game. He's, like, absurdly hard. His, like, attacks really aren't, like, choreographed at all. He, like, attacks super quickly. And you, like, barely have any time to, like, get away from him. You'll, like, run up to him, and you'll go to attack him, but then he'll shoot you right as you're attacking. And it's, like, super annoying. I don't like what they did with him in this game. He's, like, super annoying. Bam! <laughs> uh... Yes, you use the WSD keys to move SpongeBob and, and, and friends around. <laughs> oh, dear. Loop, grab you. Do I, really have to carry I don't know how many times you have to go over the Sandy. It's required by law. You have to. You have no choice. Eh. Hey, here's another one. And then we get the swingers. And then we can go around and get this thing. Well, I suppose it'll make Patrick happy. Uh. And the. Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> Money! Uh... Oh, gee, oh, good start. Why am I Spongebob? Why? <laughs> Why did I switch back to Spongebob for this? That's weird. Alright, whatever. Hmm. Hey Gary, you're on an awful long walk, aren't you? Wow. The trench of advanced darkness, huh? Sounds dark. Okay, Gary, I'll be extra, extra, extra careful. Yeah. You know it. <laughs> eh. Uh, here we go. Yeah. I think they were, what I heard is they wanted to have it come out uh, alongside the movie that's coming out, the new Spongebob movie, the CG one. Um, but that got delayed anyway, so, uh, uh, I missed the other models, oh no! Poop, what were, what were they? 
Uh... Oh, hello, you're in a different spot than you were originally. Eh. Uh... Mm. Mm. Gosh darn it, you see what I mean? I, I like go to attack him twice and then he's like, nope, I'm doing it. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Attack you, get you. Alright, where's where's the money? There it is. Got it. This is the advanced darkness. Uh Plankton, you best not be stirring up no trouble. Nonsense. I only wanna help. Help crush you all under my rise <laughs> to power. What was that? Nothing. Say, see those lasers there? Yeah. You mean them things that look like fancy washing machines? To your puny brain, I suppose. You'll need to turn on each one of those in order to cross the last part of the Trench of Advanced Darkness. This better not be some kind of trick, Varmint. Don't worry, it's not, I don't think. Uh, got it. Do I really have to carry How many times are you going to ask that? Jeez Louise. Eh. Uh, I swear she had more than just that one line in the original. But it seems like that's like all she says now. Gosh darn it! See what I mean? Jeez Louise! Stupid Tartar robot! Doop doop. I see that thing still happening where the music resets after every cutscene plays. Oh dear. Grab you. I think we're still on course for uh, the artwork stuff. God mm. stinking die! Jeez! Eh. And they made a video about they need a new host for Blues Clues, Joe. Or Squidward only. What? Uh. <laughs> No? Um, didn't they already get a new house? Isn't there, isn't it like Josh or something that's the new host of Blue's Clues now? What? What? Yeah. Yay! And those are all the lasers! Doop doop! Okay. Can't believe I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear! Watch the video. Well, I mean, I can't right now because I'm streaming. But <laughs> all right, get you. Okay, I think the last artwork piece is there. Okay, let's go. Hello, jam so tasty. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we got a group for sure, but what do you think of, of Blue Squeeze and you? I was pretty interested, uh, when it was first announced. Uh, but then I realized that it's basically all the same episodes from the original, but done with the new guy. And that made me disappointed immediately. Because <laughs> it's like, what's the point of bringing it back if you're just going to redo things you've already done? You know? So, it's weird. You might as well just do reruns of the original show at that point, if you're gonna do that. Deep, deep. <laughs> I 
I should do a collab with She Says and do a boundary break vid together. I mean, that'd be neat. I don't know what game we would do, though. Uh, it can't be this game, because it'd probably be uh, done with, like, Shift HD or something. Which they've already done, by the way, of the original. So, I don't know. I don't know what we would do. What? I'm not trying to use the teleport. I'm trying to switch characters. Thank you. Yeah, it is remix of Josh. Yeah, that was like really disappointing to me. Doopy doopy doop. Okay, uh, what am I doing? Oh, okay, wait. Hang on. I still need Sandy. <laughs> well, hang on, SpongeBob. Go back. I'm not ready for you yet. Doop -a -doop. See Daisy. Doopy doopy doop. But also the multiplayer. Oh yeah, I guess there's probably stuff to find in the multiplayer too. Oh dear. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, stop, stop, go away. Okay, stop. Stop. Okay, go in the box. Okay, okay, now I need you, SpongeBob. Uh... Who would you like more, Steve or Joe? Uh, Steve, duh. <laughs> the only, the superior one, the only, the only true host of Blue's Clues. Oh, gosh darn it. Die. Okay. Okay, that could have ended really badly, but thankfully it did not. I will say though, the 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 one clip from the first episode where Steve and Joe make a cameo appearance. I don't care for Joe as much, obviously, but when Steve was there, he's like, "Hey, can I talk to my friend out there?" And he talks to you like like it's like old times. It's like, oh, Steve, stop! You're gonna make me cry. You're gonna like <laughs> it. Uh. Eh. Okay, why is that not moving? That platform's supposed to move. <laughs> All right. Uh, who's my favorite YouTuber? I don't think I have like a definitive favorite YouTuber. Uh, I can name a few that I like. Uh, Joe kind of ruined it, and Josh, I think, ruined it even more. I mean, like... I, okay, I'll, I'll say this. Like, Josh, like, on his own, I think he's fine. He can't really ruin it, because, like, he's just doing, like, the stuff that's already been done. I'm sure if he, like... The, the few things were, like... What am I trying to say? The few, like, bits and pieces of new stuff that they did add, that are exclusive to, uh, the new one, I have liked. Like, he's, he's, he's not bad. I do like him. When he has, when he has, like, a, a joke that he needs to do for, like, original, like, it, it's funny. Like, I, I think he's, I think he, he does a good job. He does a, does good reactions and stuff. Sorry, Mr. Krabs, I'm not gonna talk to you. I know, I just kinda... I gotta just ran past him and didn't think anything of it, but, uh... Yeah, I think Josh, like, on his own is fine. They just need to, like, do, like, actually original stuff with him. Instead of, like, doing the things they've already done. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just kept going. Okay, let me, let me do this. Uh, reasons for fans. She says he was he's balding. Yeah, yeah, that's the reason. Kind of an interesting reason to leave a show, but all right. <laughs> oh gosh, the burps. Uh Ow. 
Oh, get over there. Oh, no! You poopy butt. Uh. Alright, take two. Here we go. Thanks. Thanks, Chuck. <laughs> uh. Yeah, he played along with the characters. Like in an episode, Steve was going to go snuff up, but he grabs the food, but he played along with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Steve had, had some good stuff. Oh, poopy, stinking, stinking, spang boob. <laughs> I see the, uh, I see the hand is better in this level. <laughs> in most of the other levels, the hand is, like, non-existent. <laughs> it's like it doesn't show up at all and just cuts to black. Or it does show up, but then it cuts to black anyway before it fully pulls you off the screen. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Got it! There we go. Uh, why did I kill SpongeBob earlier? Because it's just faster to teleport back to the beginning. <laughs> God stinking, you see what I mean? Like in the original, okay, in the original game, the Tartar does like a sound, like Bleh! as he's about to shoot it. To let you know, oh, I'm about to attack you. Here I come, about to attack. So that you know it's coming, right? But in that one, he doesn't do it. He just does it when he wants. Uh, he's Louise. Okay, go die. Fresh like a spring breeze. Alright, I believe there's a sock over there. Yep. Get you. Excellent. How are we doing on socks? Got it! Okay. So this should be the last one. I'll just do this. Doop -doop -doop. Last piece of artwork accounted for, Mrs. Puff. I left no strange glowing stone unturned. Well now, nice work, SpongeBob. The museum will finally be able to reopen, and here's your reward. Thanks. <laughs> Yay! Square Eye Jack. Yeah, Square Eye Jack. Oh uh, yeah, that's what I was saying. I was gonna list some YouTubers I like. Square Eye Jack is one of them. He does crazy amount of work in his videos. I love it. I love, like, the little, like, storylines that he does in them. I love the production value. He, like, puts so much work into his stuff. Like, that's the kind of, like... In terms of, like, the content that I want to make, that's, like, the kind of content I aspire to make right there. It's, he does There's so much work like in his videos. In the no, um, and some other ones I like. I like, I like, uh, Kid Icarus. That's another one I watch, I watch a lot. Uh, Brutal Moose. Uh, Jim Sterling's one that I watch a lot. Uh, what are some other ones? Well, first, let's watch this. Yeah, Andrew the Mermelair, let's go inside. Dooby dooby boo boo. Sweet. Alright, here we are in the Mermelair. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. Uh, let's see, what are some other ones I like? I know there's one- Ow! Okay, I probably should have done that. That was- that was a- that was a goofy on my part. Um, hmm. I know there's more I watch. Oh yeah! Uh, Peterborough Gamers, ones I watch a lot. I do watch some of the, like, the animation YouTubers, like, uh, the odd ones out. Uh, yeah. Evil, <laughs> whatever he's doing there. Boy. You shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See, I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my. <laughs> All right, kid, knock it off. Just tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick sat on my old ones. 
That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up, young sponge of goodness. It is? It is? Yes, a bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system. It's up to you to shut it down and stop them! Oh yeah, John Trout's another, another good one that I watch a lot. Well, why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments. Ah, fish sticks. I forgot. Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. I accept this awesome responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. Shamed, maybe, but <laughs> disappointed. To the doctor's office! Away! Away! Uh... Do I know Jacksepticeye and Mark Blair? Yeah, I don't watch them a soup, uh, a ton. They're not ones I, I watch a lot, but yeah, I like some of the stuff that I did see from them. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Oh, let's go down here. Eh. Golly. So, uh, let me, uh, let me, let me, let me talk about a little something with you guys that I find kind of weird about this level. So, is it just me? I don't think I hear anyone talk about this ever. Is it just me, or is like the way the story is written in this specific level only super weird and disjointed? Let me let me explain. Let me explain what I mean, right? Oh, wrong way. So like, you go inside Shady Shoals, right? And SpongeBob's like, ah oh, man, Barnacle Boy and Mermaid Man, you're my heroes. Hit me with a water ball. And then Barnacle Boy is like. Oh, hey, we're having some problems inside of the Myrna Lair. Do you think you can help us out with it? And SpongeBob's like, yeah, sure. And then Barnacle Boy's like, all right, go inside the Myrna Lair and help us out. So then you go inside the Myrna Lair. And then you get there and SpongeBob fanboys over them again. Like, ah, oh, man, you guys are my heroes. You're so cool. And then Barnacle Boy's like, okay, what the heck do you want? I'm here because you told me to go inside that you needed help. You wanted help with the Mermelair? That's why you called me inside here? I went inside there because you said you wanted help? So, that's weird, right? He, t he tells you that they need help and you need to go in the Mermelair, so you go in the Mermelair, and then they're like, what the heck do you want? I, like, as if they didn't expect you to be there. It's super weird, right? But then to make it even weirder, after they tell you what they want, they're like, oh, you need to show off the security system because it's acting weird. So, can you help us out with that? And you're like, sure, we'll help you out with that. Then you go into the next section of the level and you meet up with Squidward. And then Squidward is like, Oh yeah, Spongebob, those old guys told me to help out with the Mermelair computer. But, since I don't want to do it, can you do it instead? But the, they, they told me to do it already earlier in the level. It's like, it's so weird. It's like they... They give you the same mission like three times in a row. The mission has like three different introductions to it. And it's so weird. It's <laughs> so it's like, like what the heck? Like is it just me or is that super weird? Uh... Oh, we gotta see this. We got this neat little easter egg. Whoop. Yep, there it is. The Mermelair, the, 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 oh, but you can't stand on it? Oh. I can do that, but then it disappears. That, that's not fun. That's not fun at all. In the original, you could still stand on it even when it was invisible. Come on. <laughs> uh, it's probably because if you skip the previous thingies. But no, but like, it's not a problem on the other levels. The other levels aren't structured like that. It's like just this one where it's super weird. Uh, do you watch Game Grumps? Yeah, the Game Grumps are pretty funny. I like them. I haven't watched like their new stuff a whole ton recently. But like, 
Yeah, they're 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 pretty funny. They're pretty funny. <laughs> the Mermelan. It really is Thursday. Yeah, it is, right? <laughs> Superheroes, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Yeah, so here we go. Here's introduction number three to this mission. Uh Squidward, am I happy to see you? And not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel in the back of your elbow. Oh, you'll never believe what's been happening. Yeah, yeah, I've already been briefed by the geriatric duo. Those two old coots sent me in to get updated with the Mermelair computer. But since you're here now, I'll let you do it. It's right over there. Uh, it's right over there. Oh, look at this place. I mean, police. Would it kill them to lay down a few throw rugs? And all this wasted space? How did those two old fogies make all this? Oh, that's easy. In episode 27, the Mermelair is invaded by the digging monsters of Bermuda, and they... Never mind! Ah, <laughs> uh, jeez. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We got in this section. Never mind this section. There we go. Never mind. Here we go. Excuse me. Thank you. Jeez Louise, that was weird. Alright, let's uh, turn this around. Polly's. Uh... After Roll Up Patrick, it's my favorite joke. Oh, I think I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, it's a pretty good one, too, coming up. <laughs> Alright, let's do this first. Hey, Mermaid Man. I've got a job for somebody who can throw things. Leave it to us. I'm great at throwing things. All you have to do is pick up a throw fruit and throw it into each of those funnel machines. Throw, throw the throw fruit? <laughs> no, throw the throw fruit. Throw the toothy. You might want to be quick about it. I tend to explode. I mean, they tend to explode. <laughs> Okay, let's start with this one. Oh, that wasn't as bad. That's like way easier than the original. Uh, Alright, and then we got this. Oh, that was weird. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No! <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, well, at least that saves. I tend to explode! I mean, they tend to explode! Uh, darn it! Uh... Ooh, up we go. Patrick can't say throw fruit. Yeah, throw fruit. Totally not watermelon. Totally not. Uh... Alright, and then one more. Yeah, throw, resembling a soccer ball. Yeah. There's probably a better idea to go with this, honestly. Because, like, soccer balls growing out of nothing is kind of weird. So, probably it probably was a smarter idea to do this. Alright, there we go. Easy peasy. You did it! Now I can get some sleep. Yay, give me that. Yay! <laughs> uh, oh, are you leaving, Christy? Alright, uh, bye, I guess. Uh... Alright, up we go. Oh, this is another really great joke that I love. We hey, <laughs> Patsy faces away! <laughs> hmm. Gonna need a lot more power to activate the hydroacoustic Doppler modulator. Do you think you can handle this? I can see Squidward's there he goes. up here. And he's not wearing any pants. Oh wait, he never wears pants. Now listen up. There are eight cylinders over there. If you throw something at the cylinders, it'll turn around to the power side. 
turn all eight cylinders around to the power side and I'll give you a reward. Sorry, what was that? I was watching Squidward. <laughs> Just start turning those cylinders. Ah, uh, Patrick, never change. So what do I do with this? Alright. So I'm going to pray and hope that this is like the original where all we have to do is just be like hit each of these once please because I'm not prepared to be at this all day eh. Okay. Oh, yeah, and this looks like it. There we go. Okay, thank goodness. Hey! For a few was really talking about, yep. Oh, jeez, there's no bridge there. Okay. Ah, uh, well done. Now there's enough power. What do you need all that power for? Why, my foot bath, of course. Here, have a golden spatula. Why, thank you, my bro. Yay! All right, down we go. We, ow! Oh my gosh! Okay, uh, I guess we're gonna be getting that on the way down uh, to do the other section. All right, all right. Now we got this challenge. Pretty easy stuff. Get that. Uh. His alter ego is the clean bubble? For it real? Shines. Is that like a new season thing? Because I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, get... Oh my gosh, really? Easily. Somehow they made the spinning things even more finicky than they were in the original. <laughs> Goop. You. Hmm. As <laughs> he just like flies or whatever. Hmm. Excellent. Boop. Alright, sweetness! Alright, now let's see if we can get this this time. I love opening presents. Me too, SpongeBob. It's pretty neat. Ow. Fresh like a spring breeze. Oh! <laughs> uh doop doop doop. You. Name one thing about Plucky Strip's adventure that I liked. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, feel like a new I, I guess that one puzzle where uh, you have to like blow up a glove as if it's a balloon and then pop it to scare the scarecrow away. That was kind of neat and clever, I guess. Um, that's about it. <laughs> In order for me to regain control of the security system, you need to press all the override buttons spread throughout the Mermelair. The first one is here. Press the buttons! Got it! That was weird. <laughs> when you have pressed them all, you should return here to press the master shutdown button. You will be rewarded. Return here. Got it. Why is this bubble one like just bulging out of his hand? It looks weird. And now it's stabbing him through the gut. <laughs> Listening. Got it. <laughs> uh, who's my least favorite SpongeBob character? I kind of don't like Larry very much. I, I always find I always find characters who think they're super awesome and cool and everyone around them thinks they're super awesome and cool 
as really annoying and irritating. Eh. Down to the deepest recesses of the Mermelair. Oh, you took the elevator. <laughs> oh, how do I get to the top of this room? You're right. I bet those tunnels will take me up to the top. Good thinking, Gary. Yeah. All right, now we got this challenge. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. Oh dear. Get. We were hoping that they still have my favorite joke. I think I know what joke you're talking about. We'll see. Stop with the stinking update windows. I don't care. Eh. Keep, keep. Gotta catch them all, just like Pokemon. Eh. Oh dear. <laughs> I was looking at the chat and didn't notice that there was a spinny robot there. Wonder Boy is the actual character you speak to when you talk to the computer. Yep. And it's the exact same deal in this game, too. <laughs> Except in this one, I didn't even bother to texture him. So, uh... That's... That's 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 pretty interesting. Oh, dear. Okay. You know what? Whatever. 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 Uh, <laughs> never really liked it. It was really boring because of how difficult it was. Yeah, and it just made no sense. And... It just wasn't interesting whatsoever. I don't. Uh, it was not a good game. I've <laughs> been like Windows Update. They're just glass. <laughs> uh. Well, I mean, you gotta like, you gotta get that reinforced glass, man. You gotta make it. Like bulletproof and stuff, you know? You don't want, like, bullets crashing through your windows, right? So, like, you gotta update them so that doesn't happen. Oh, go get out of here. Thank you. Okay. Alrighty then. <laughs> well, that didn't go anywhere at all as planned. Uh, <laughs> Uh, spin next to the computer, and you will and he will clip through. Oh, really? Okay. Eh, I didn't know that. I could try that. I, I should try that at some point. All right. I did open that box, right? Yes, I did. Okay. So if I fall, I'll I'll I'll, I'll, I'll have to do all that again. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah! Oh, and they had a trampoline up here. Yay! That wasn't there before. That's super helpful. Uh... Boop, boop, boop. Car proof as well. Uh... Oh boy! Is it time for everyone's favorite challenge? Is it time? Oh boy! Guys! It's our favorite! It's time! It's time for everyone's favorite part of the game! Here we go! Look, boy! There's gold under that glass! Gold, I say! My eyes are getting sweaty just looking at it! All you have to do is get that great big ball into that there cup. How do I get the ball rolling, Mr. Krabs? You start the process by bubble bowling up this ramp to hit that button. Good luck, SpongeBob. My wallet's counting on you. Here we go. I mean, first let's do this. There we go. All right. Welcome back, Walter. You're just in time to watch the best part of the game. It's everyone's favorite. Oh gosh. Oh, stop. Oh, you can't. Thank you. My gosh. 
Oh, look, guys, it rolls even slower than the original. That makes it even more fun. Dude, oh, man, I'm on the edge of my seat. I can't wait. This is going to be great, guys. Uh, scoop successful. Thanks. Uh, all right, and then I usually wait. Oh, my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh, dude, okay. Alright, and then it's going, it's going. Oh, dear. Eh. No, stop! Get the... SpongeBob! Oh! <laughs> uh, dude! <laughs> oh, jeez, I gotta get up here, though. Oh! Oh, dude, did you see that save? Oh, dude. Epic gamer moment. Uh. Oh, jeez. All right, now we got this part. I have no idea how this is going to work. Oh, dear. Uh, oh, no. No. Oh, no. It's worse. It's worse. No. It's worse. Oh, no. <laughs> oh gosh. I just hit the stinking thing. Oh my god. Oh, no. Oh no, guys. Oh no, this is gonna be the rest of the stream, is it? <laughs> this is gonna be the rest of the stream. It's just this. Because now all the physics are different and... Oh, jeez. I gotta make sure it makes it here all the way before it does the thing. No, hit the thing. Hit it! Oh, you stinking... Oh, no! It's so much worse now. It's so much worse. It was already terrible in the original, but now it's worse. Hit it. Thank you. My gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. Make it across that. And you really wind it up. Hit it. Thank you. My gosh. Jeez Louise. Uh, scoop successful. Scoop successful. Come on. Say it. Say it. Thank you. Oh, man. I guess... I guess the scoop wasn't successful this time. Uh... Oh, gee. Oh, no, this is horrible. <laughs> oh, okay. We really wind it up. There we go. Okay. There we go. Alright. Okay, come on. Okay, how am I expected to do this? What's the secret to this, guys? Uh, okay, do the, do this, and then do no! <laughs> uh, okay, we will fight Robot Patrick at the ten-hour mark. Yes, at this rate, probably. <laughs> oh, get up! I can't even get up the ramp. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Uh. Okay, and since this takes 10 hours to go up anyway, I guess I'll just do that. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. Scoop is successful, guys. The scoop's successful. Okay. And then it does that. And then... Rage Master 468. Yeah, that right. Oh, dear. Okay. And then does that. Okay. Here I go. Oh, jeez. Alright. Up we go. Here we go. Alright, this is the one, guys. I got a good feeling. Eh. It's at 60%. I think you'll be good. It's not... 
what happened? What? What? Excuse me? What happened? I'm pretty sure I waited long enough for it to get in there, right? How long does this usually take? Well, in the original, it would take me like five minutes, because I've kind of mastered all the physics at that point. But now we're dealing with new physics, and now it's way worse. Uh... uh Okay. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Yeah, actually, I think we're just sitting there, man, boy. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Okay. Come on. This is the one. This is the one for all the marbles, guys. I got a good feeling. Yeah, you do those armpit farts, my man. Okay, come on. Get in the thing this time. Come on. There we go. Okay. Hi, Patrick. We're doing this amazing challenge that we can all admire. Okay, here we go. This is the one, guys. This is the one. I got a good feeling. Here we go. Do that, and then it goes on to the thing. And then we immediately do this. I said we immediately do stop. And then do that. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, dude. Get it. Th yeah, you better get in there, mister. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh. <laughs> We did it, guys. Uh. Alright, we got it. Now we can get this, and then we can go over here and get the thing. Okay! Well, um. So, guys, which has the worst ballroom puzzle? This version or the original? <laughs> well done, SpongeBob! Now, how's about giving old Mr. Krabs that shiny gold? I'll give you a promotion. A promotion? Sure. You'll get a whole extra ten seconds added to your break time. Woo! Twenty seconds, bro! <laughs> Do I dare? Uh, no, I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs. As enticing as that sounds, I can't give this to you. I need every golden spatula I can get. I understand, boy. I'll just dock thirty seconds from your break time and <laughs> means I have a negative 20 second break. Thanks, Mr. Krabs. Yay, negative 20 seconds. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez, and then the fan spins faster, so it's harder to hit the switch. And gosh darn it. Ah, uh, oh. hey, Marble Air Computer. I have regained control of the security system. Here is the reward I promised you. You have pressed all the security buttons. Now press the master shutdown button. Okie dokie, Urtichoki. Wow, 20 second break. No, nah, man, negative 20 second break. Uh, it's even better. <laughs> Alright, time to take down Prawn, you guys. Let's go. Excuse me, wah. Apparently, the security system has been shut down, and we got a good checkup. Hooray for justice in all its multi splendor glory! <laughs> yeah. well, oh my gosh, SpongeBob looks kind of weird in this lighting. To the Mermelayers, BCS. That's Villain Containment System. Is that bad? Does Mermaid Man smell like sour milk? Yes. Yes, I do! Oh no. It looks like one of the villains is broken free. What's that? An evil doer on the loose? Who is it? Man Ray? The atomic flounder? The dirty bubble? No, worse than that. He's your arch enemy. Prawn. <laughs> oh no! Someone called? Oh, I thought maybe I was looking at superheroes. But now I see it's just a couple of pieces of gnarled driftwood. <sighs> 
Uh, oh gosh, okay, we're getting right into it. There we go. Okay, uh, why do I never use face cam during my streams? I don't know. I just don't really feel like it. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like face cam can be kind of distracting uh, for some things, like game playthroughs and stuff. I don't know. I just prefer just to see the game. I don't know. I, I guess it just kind of depends on the video. For my stuff, personally, I prefer not to use face cam. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 Oh, hey. They made the hammer robots not as annoying in this fight. <laughs> Boom. One more time now. Yeah, in the original, they would, like, come at you off-screen, and they would attack you before you have time to react. But, this one, they kind of take their time, which is nice. This fight seems more or less the same than the original, besides that. Yeah. Kind of the same speed. Just... Yeah. This looks kind of prettier. <laughs> it's not like the robot Sandy fight where they really up to the ante. Like, <laughs> all right, boom, and there you have it. Yeah, Mermaid Man, I'm still here. Yay! And there we go. Is that 100% for this level? Yes, it is. Alright, guys. Now, these are all three levels of the second Hub World section done and completed. Which means... It's time to take down Robot Patrick. Let's go. Hey, Squidward, how you doing? I'm Squidward, I'm Squidward, 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 Squidward. Hey. Here we go. Go over here. Look, well, why don't you just d teleport using the, the map? Because I want to do this. The king of non contact sports. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Let's see what Robot Patrick's like in this version. Golly. If the Robot Sandy fight is anything to go by, I'm expecting this to be a little bit different as well. Ooh. Oof. Robot really is like Patrick. He'll eat us for dessert. What should we do? 
I don't think he's good on dessert, SpongeBob. <laughs> Yeah. Here we go. Whoa! Right into the action. Here we go. Oh, that's a weird spin. That's a really weird spin. <laughs> All right. And then he just gravitates to the center. <laughs> that's kind of silly looking. Uh, that was a little silly looking, I gotta be honest. <laughs> Look at him, he's like, oh, whoa, whoa, slowly spinning around, but still flinging things around somehow. Aw, oh, man. And then he's like, whoa, gravitates to the center. Uh, he's big, scary, and pink, dudes. <laughs> Chucky Boy Cheese, I love this stream. Thanks, bro. Been a fan of yours for years. Thanks. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> so silly looking. Ugh. Yeah. What? Ooh. Let's go. Oh, jeez, I wasn't ready, dude. You can't do that. Ow! Oh, he got me. Ah, oh, dude. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, dude. Toss darn it. Okay, he's kicking my butt a little bit, but it's okay. We got this. Let's try to keep it calm. Oh, jeez. Yeah, watch the red thingies. Why does he gravitate to the center like that? That's so weird. Alright, then he does this. It doesn't even go in his mouth! <laughs> okay, uh... I'm thinking this fight might have been a little rushed. <laughs> I could be wrong. But I don't think this has the same level of polish as the first fight had. <laughs> uh. Like a. Uh oh. Um. Excuse me. I. Excuse me? Thank you. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, jeez. Kind of hard to read chat and do the spy at the same time. Okay. Eh. DVD. One more douse with that stuff, and SpongeBob will be back in the ring. Oh, jeez. Get away from me. Oh, ho, ho. All right, here we go. Just darn it, these swing hooks, dude. Eh. Well, how would I feel if they remastered Funk if they remastered Funk the movie game? Ah, uh, no, I don't think that really needs one. Unless they want to make it, like, good. And by good, I mean, don't do the paddy wagon challenges, like, ever. Oh, my gosh! Oh, that's different. Okay. Uh, that has, like, a pattern that's a little harder to avoid there. Alright. Oh, my... Oh, jeez, how am I gonna get him, guys? <laughs> Oh, darn it. Excuse me? Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, man, again. How am I going to do this, guys? I don't know what that's supposed to mean, Mr. Announcer Fish, but if you say so. Uh, 
Ouch! Darn it! Uh, I think that's a little bit harder than the original. I'm getting, I'm getting hit more than I would in the original. But I can definitely say it's not anywhere near as polished as the original version. <laughs> Boom! We did it. <laughs> Sandy, we'd still be popsicles if it wasn't for her. Aw, oh, shucks. You fellers are gonna make me blush. <laughs> I think I have fudge in my pants. Ugh, gross. <laughs> I'm sorry, Plankton. The Chum Bucket Lab is locked up tight. I don't know if I'll ever get enough golden spatulas to get in. Yes, it's the Chum Bucket security system. I designed it myself. It makes me so proud. It was meant to keep out the hateful throngs of the unwashed. Unfortunately, I never figured I'd be on this side of it. So what are you gonna do, Plankton? We, of course, meaning you, are gonna have to go out there and get those golden spatulas. Or I'll never get back into the chub bucket and regain control of my robots. What was that? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I said, <laughs> will I ever get back into the chum bucket to stain all my pots? Yes. Hmm, something's fishy here. Here we go. Let's see it. Can I can I talk to you? Keep looking for golden spatula, SpongeBob. I'm sure that my robots out there have some. <laughs> hey, you call them your robots. No, I uh And I saw a plaque on the butt of one of the robots that said property of plankton. Well, maybe, but I, uh... And I found this order form for robot parts with your signature on it. Can I have that back? I need it for my tax write-off. <laughs> I think you've been pulling my leg this whole time. Well, duh. I'll bet you made all these robots. And after I get inside the chum bucket and figure out how to stop them, I'm gonna tell everyone. Fine, tell everyone. Be a big tattletale. I'm still smiling at all of you. <laughs> and then lastly, oh wait, we gotta save the game. Maybe this day won't be mine. Or the next. Or possibly even the next. Or 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 the next after that. But the one after the next, after the next, after the next, after that. Well, that one after that, right next to that one. That will be my day! Beautiful. Alrighty! <laughs> so, now that we did that, boss, we Bubba should Bubba have... The next move you teach me will be the best one ever. Absolutely, SpongeBob. Super pinky shake on it? I would if I had pinkies. Here, I'll blow you some. Yeah, maybe later. Now, <laughs> pay attention, SpongeBob. This bubble's a doozy. Paying my entire salary and attention. When you're not moving, press this button and you'll blow a bubble that you can steer as it flies through the air. Wow. Aim carefully, though. You've only got a few seconds of flight time before the bubble pops. I'm a bubble blowing machine. Yeah. And now we have the hard hitting question, guys. The question that's been on everyone's mind since day one. We're about to get the hard hitting answer right now. Say, Bubble Buddy, why am I having to pay all these golden spatulas to these toll booths? Because, SpongeBob. Well, can't argue with that. Yep, can't argue with that, guys. I mean, that's been right. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Okay. It's up. There we go. It's not inverted. Uh. Oh, dude, and I can't do the thing where I can like get the camera to stop faster by pressing it again. Yeah, okay, game. Whatever you say. Uh. We oh my goodness gracious! We can go all the way up to the fifth. Alrighty. <laughs> uh, let's grab this. We're gonna grab the the last few golden spatulas in the hub, and then we're gonna call it a stream, guys. I am one unbeatable sponge. Yeah. And then what? <laughs> oh, it doesn't move out of the way. All right. Uh, there's no one at the toll booth. Yeah, right. <laughs> that makes it even better. Hey, Mr. Krabs. What's wrong, 
wrong, Mr. Krabs. You don't look so good. You gotta help me, boy. The Krusty Krabs been overrun by a bunch of them hoodlum robots of yours. They've booted me out! Oh, and God, that's a new expression. They've got hold of me, beautiful, shiny objects. Be filing the Krusty Krab? Is there no end to their evil? What are we going to do, Mr. Krabs? We, meaning you, are <laughs> going to clear the robots out, get me back me restaurant, and most importantly, rescue me money! Yeah! Are you gonna buy the movie tickets at the tickets at the movie theater? Yep, that's what we're gonna end the stream on. Gonna get the last few spatulas and we're gonna end things off. Like oh, uh, with the logies. Oh, oh, burp, saying on oh, oh gosh. Oh. Anyway, we're gonna get the last few spatulas in the hub world and then we're gonna check out the movie theater. Let's go! You. It shines. Yeah. Oh man, it didn't blow you up. Whatever. Oh geez. Oh geez. Nope. Okay. Whatever. Fine. Whatever you say, game. Uh oh. OBS disconnected. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Am I still recording? I'm still recording. So that's good at least. Oh, the internet's dead. Darn it. Ah, oh, jeez Louise. Ah, oh, poopy butts. Okay, well, I'll keep going on the recording because we're almost done anyway. Uh, and I'll just upload this as a, as a, as a video file. Uh, hey guys, uh, watching the YouTube recording. How are you today? Uh, I'm doing great. Uh, I've been, I've been having a really fun time. Playing Battle for Bikini Bottoms Rehydratedness. And I hope you are too, because it's it's pretty fun, I must say. Um if I can please okay, let me let me let me redo this. Hang on. <laughs> this is not going well. Let me let me redo. Uh Yeah, I feel like I should be working. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is the one. This is the one for all the marbles. Tiptoe, like tiptoe, mm, tiptoe, tip tip tiptoe. Don't hit me. Eh. Ouchies. Darn it, get out of here. No one likes you. Oh, I think that's all the things down there, up there anyway. Uh, all right, let's get rid of these guys, and that should be it. Eh. Eh. And that's it. There we go. All right, now we... I think I can still destroy these, right? No? Okay. I'm going to assume those are not destroyable, and I'm just going to keep going. Do 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 Nice, nice physics there. Really showing off that physics engine. Oh jeez. Go. Destroy these. Do. Mm. Mm. Almost there. <laughs> Getting close. This is the one. Okay, one more. Okay, wait. One more. Okay, wait. One more. Okay, wait. One more. Eh. Okay, wait. <laughs> and then this should be the last one. Maybe? No? Okay. Uh, let me try destroying... Gosh darn it, I keep forgetting that it's not inverted. Oh gosh, I say as I do the exact same thing again. <laughs> there we go, okay. Still? Really? What's left? What's left to destroy, bro? What's left to destroy, fam? What? As the kids say these days. Oh, there we go. That that one little sandbag. <laughs> uh. All right, let's grab that. And I think that's the last thought. Yep. All right. Hey, it's the mime. Hey, mime. 
That's some weird reflections going on in that window there. Uh. Oh. Phew. You had me worried there for a bit, boy. Worried for me money, of course. Arr, 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 arr. Here, <sighs> take this as your reward. Don't, don't ever do it. Well, Mr. Krabs laugh again. You're not good at it. Why didn't they just get Clancy Brown? What you do? You had the perfect prime opportunity to get Clancy Brown, and you're like, nah. <laughs> Stinking. Some HD remake this is, am I right, guys? Oh, wait, the stream broke, so no one's there. <laughs> Confirm that the robots running amok through Bikini Bottom are indeed coming from the chum bucket. Yes, <laughs> right where you're Long standing. Long awkward pause. Captain, owner of the chum bucket, and best known for the creation of robots whose sole purpose is to cause mayhem and destruction, has denied any involvement. And then stomp on your children. <laughs> and stomp on your children's children. This has been a Bikini Bottom news flash. Oh boy! Oh man, and it doesn't destroy. Golly. I guess they didn't have the budget to do that. <laughs> Alright, get you. Gotta make that guy set up those combos, dude. I know, it's super great, isn't it? Man, it's so weird. It's like I'm recording a, a solo walkthrough now, guys. It's like. It's no, no stream chat or anything. It's just. Just, just me, all by myself, all by my lonesome. Cause I'm all alone. There's no can, can. Oh my! Stop! What are you doing? Jeez! <laughs> you ruined my 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 perfectly lol funny Shrek joke, bro. <laughs> all right, I think that's all. Yeah, there we go. That's all of them. All right. Ah, uh, do I wanna? Do I want to see what the movie theater's like without the chat? I don't know if I do. It feels wrong. We got. I, I want to experience it together. Uh, I don't know. Let's see what it's like. I don't know. I guess I'll do it. Why not? Let me know what you think. Stay stuff in the comments, and we'll we'll live through it together. Hey, Hello, hey, bro. Sir, may I help you? One movie ticket, my good man. Yeah, my good man. Let's yes, go. Sir. There we go. And then I have to see this dialogue. It's required by law. What if I want to watch a movie I haven't seen? Like, can I see Death Fish 2000? Sorry, sir. What about Carp Wars? No. No. Nautical Nonsense 23, The Procrastination. Uh, sir, I'm on break now. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh. All right, let's see what the movie theater has in... Oh, wait a minute, is the internet back? Oh, it's saying it's coming back. Wait a minute. Mm, wait a minute. Mm, wait a minute. Mm, wait a minute. Oh, jeez. It's the moment of truth, guys. It's the moment of truth. Oh, never mind, it's not. Okay. In I go, I guess. Let's see. All right, what's the movie theater like here? I, 3D model of Squidward. Uh, Robo spo Spoilers? What? That's the final boss? Dude, why you spoil it like that? I, I was really looking forward to it. Uh, do another spoiler? Dude, what the heck? Bro. Uh. So what, it's just screenshots of the game? That's weird. Hi, Sandy. Wow, that's... Huh. Uh. I mean. I mean, I'm not gonna act like the movie theater in the original was that interesting either. I mean, at least to me. I know, like. I mean, I'm sure concept art's interesting to some people, but personally, it's not to me. Yeah, at least, it, like, in the original. Like, it was, like. Something. It's like, oh, here's some cut things from the original game that didn't make it in. Well, that's kind of interesting, right? But, and there it's just like, oh, here's screenshots from the game that you're already playing right now. Like, <laughs> that's, that's weird. That's, like, not that great. <laughs> um, not worth, definitely not worth 40,000 shiny objects, let me tell you. Uh, 
So, um, I guess with that, that's it. Uh, I'm ending the stream all by myself. It's pretty, pretty sad. <laughs> Hopefully, the next one won't have internet problems, but whatever. Anyway, that's it for now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream, what you could see of it anyway. <laughs> uh, and in the next stream, uh, we're gonna finish up the game. The next stream's gonna be the final... Uh, rehydrated live stream that we do. And in the next one, we're gonna do the last three levels of the game and beat the final boss. So that'll be pretty awesome. Oh gosh, this nightmare.